Hey everybody, what's going on? Gunslinger back at it again with another video. Today on Plans for Zombies uh, Battle for Neighborville. And I'm here with Mike from Walmart. Uh, say hello. Hello. And we're going to be reviewing this game. Um, it's pretty trash, but there are some good things about it. So let's just get right into it. Mike from Walmart is going to start us off, and he's going to start off with the good things. Here we go. Some good things about Battle for Neighborville are some of the new characters, which a lot of people have wanted since the first Dark Warfare game. And a lot of people are very excited to see them. As well as new cosmetics, which add a lot more variety to how your characters can look. Six new zombie and plant characters. What are some good things you like about this game, Gunslinger? Some good things I like about this game are that you can go out and experience World War II and then you can proceed to go out and begin World War III. Another thing that I like about this game is the Thunderdome. The Thunderdome is really cool because you can pick your own characters, and once you pick your characters, you can't use them for the rest of the game until you die. Some personal things I don't like about this game is the removal of the Backyard Battleground. I really like the Backyard Battleground. Since you can go into the enemy's base and then start nuclear apocalypse, and I really like the flag. I am very much missing it and those 500 points I would get. Some bad things about the game include the following. Most and all of the characters have been butchered are absolute garbage and the other ones that aren't are very overpowered. And is anyone gonna ignore the fact that you had to grind for hours to get what's his name? The tree! But here you get him for free, and you can just win any game with him, and it's unfair. All the plants are every time gonna win, and how do the zombies have more people than the plants? All the zombies look ugly, and they all look like they have stage seven cancer. Next, the abilities suck. The new characters are trash. The logo is trash. The amount of money you have to pay for such a trash game is trash. With that $20, you have to up a bunch of V-Bucks. But I did it. I got Battle for Neighborville. Why not Battle War for 3? I don't know. Ask EA. The person who has absolutely ruined the Garden Warfare franchise. When we thought it was a savior after the disappointment like me, that is back for Zombies 2. Next, I'm going to be honest. I don't think anyone likes City Park. And if you do... You don't. Don't lie to yourself. Next is the leveling up system. And we just talked about how a seven year old can get mastered in like two days by doing nothing but killing people as Acorn and Oak in Giddy Park with people trying to test out new abilities. I really hate electric boogaloo six inch long neck. <coughs> Corn's tall head. The graphics in general. And me. But everyone hates me, so. Next is um the introduction of all the new plants and zombies. I said I like that they introduced new I don't like how who who accepted this game into the game industry? And who made it thirty dollars? I wish I never bought this game. And um I wish I stomped on it and did take the L while streaming balls on ratio. Brady, what are your opinion on this horrible thirty dollar waste of game? Oh, also, I really like how we decorate the areas for the seasons. Next, I don't like the legendary cosmetics slash abilities that they gave for the characters. First of all, why did they give Colonel Corn Shield? And, uh, just in general, they, uh, Basically, killed, butchered, and stomped on it while doing TTL on all the characters. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, 
I played the beta of this game. There's no hype for it. A video came out two minutes later. This game is now out, it says. Right? So, first of all, that doesn't make any sense, in my opinion. So no one knew about this game except for the hardcore PvZ fans. <coughs> Me, because I'm that kind of person. Oh, and also... The, uh... Microtransactions. <laughs> so, about the microtransactions, I hate them. And uh, if I ever see them in another uh, PvD game, I will literally hit my dog so hard on camera that you have to call uh, hospitals near my area. That's all I got to say. And I will post it on my TikTok for everyone to see. Some more bad things that I don't like about this game are that there's no variance for any of the characters. You only get cosmetics. Now this is, now honestly, I'm really sad about this because you can't get Agent P or Toxic Citron or any of those characters, which makes the game really kind of boring to play. And adding on top of Gunslinger's wording, I don't like how they got rid of the character variance because in my opinion, that's what made Garden Warfare so unique and made it different from any other Todd Clancy game. Anyways, that's going to be the end of today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you around in the next video. Peace out, guys.